The first thing you will need to do to program the PT-878 for a clamp-on system is determine the unit specification measurement. This will either be English units or metric units. With the meter powered up, select the menu button. You will see the menu bar at the top of the display screen. Use the arrow keys on the keypad to scroll over to the meter selection. Press the down arrow when the meter selection is highlighted. This will bring up a new window with multiple options. The first option is units, which is what you want to select. Press the enter button to bring up the meter unit settings. Use the left or right arrow key on the keypad to select your unit choice. Now that the unit specification has been selected, press the enter button. To complete the selection, press the F3 button which corresponds with the OK message on the bottom right of the display screen. Now that the unit specification has been selected, you may proceed to program the PT-878 for a clamp-on system. Using the arrow keys on the keypad, scroll over to highlight the program selection. Press the enter button with the program selection highlighted. This will bring up a drop-down menu and the first highlighted selection will be the transducer. Press the enter button on the keypad. This will bring up the transducer type options. In the type options, you can select either wetted or clamp on. Press the down arrow key on the keypad and then the left or right arrow key to highlight either of these types. For this example, we will use the clamp on option. Once you have selected your type, use the down arrow key on the keypad to highlight the transducer option. Press the enter button in the transducer selection block and you will see a list of transducer types available for selection. Highlight the appropriate transducer type you are working with and press the enter button to use the selection. Press the down arrow key on the keypad to highlight the wedge temperature input field. The wedge temperature is the temperature on the surface of the pipe that the transducer face is mounted to. The wedge temperature should be programmed for the process temperature plus the surface temperature of the pipe divided by 2. For example, if your process temperature is 102 degrees Fahrenheit and the surface temperature of your pipe is 52 degrees Fahrenheit, add 52 to 102 for a sum of 154, then divide 154 by 2 which equals 77. This is the value that you input into the wedge temperature field as in our example displayed on the screen. Once you have the value for your wedge temperature, press the enter button and input the number by using the number keys on the keypad. Press the enter button again once you have entered the number to set the value. Then press the F3 button which corresponds to the OK message on the bottom right of the display screen. The next selection in the program menu is the pipe selection. Highlight the pipe selection and press enter. In this menu, you can select the material and wall thickness of the pipe. Press the down arrow key to highlight the material input field and press the enter button to view the available material types. You can use the up and down arrow keys to navigate through the pipe materials. Once you have selected your pipe material, press enter. The next option to program is the wall thickness. This will be covered in another video segment devoted entirely on measuring wall thickness. Once your wall thickness is measured, use the down arrow key to highlight the outer diameter input field. After measuring the outer diameter of the pipe, press the enter button and use the number keys on the keypad to input the outer diameter of the pipe. Once the diameter is entered, press the enter button again. You do not have to input any value in the OD times pi field as it will automatically be calculated after putting in your wall thickness. Use the right arrow key to move over to the wall thickness input field and press enter. Input the value of the wall thickness that is measured from the wall thickness gauge by using the number keys on the keypad. Press the enter button once you have input the wall thickness value. If ANSI data is available and being used, you can press the down arrow key to highlight the ANSI option and press enter to select it. 
You will then be able to use the arrow keys on the keypad to highlight the nominal or the schedule input fields and then use the number keys to input the values for each. Once the pipe parameters have been programmed, use the up arrow key to go back to the top of the menu and press the right arrow key to highlight the lining menu and press enter. Press the down arrow key to select the material field. Press the enter button to view available options. If there is no lining material, choose none and press the enter button. Press the up arrow key to go back up to highlight lining and then press the right arrow key to select the fluid menu. Press the enter button to open the fluid parameter menu window. Press the down arrow key on the keypad to highlight the fluid selection field and press the enter button to view the available options. If the fluid you are looking for is not in the options, choose Other, then you will have to manually program the fluid speed. If you choose water for your fluid, you will need to program the temperature of the water by using the down arrow key and pressing enter on the temperature input field. When the temperature is set, press the enter button. Press the F3 button which corresponds to the OK selection on the bottom right of the display screen. Press the menu button to bring up the menu at the top of the screen. Use the arrow keys on the keypad to highlight the program tab. Use the down arrow key to select path and press the enter button. For clamp-on installations, you must program the number of traverses, which is the number of times the sound wave travels through the fluid. Press the down arrow key to highlight the traverses input field and press enter. This opens a new selection window that allows you to choose the number of traverses. Once you have chosen the number of traverses, press the enter button. The spacing for the transducer separation will be automatically calculated for the number of traverses. Once the transducer spacing is calculated, write down the number you see in the spacing field, as this is the spacing you will need to use when mounting your transducers with the mounting brackets to your pipe. Press the F3 button, which corresponds with the OK message on the bottom right of the display screen. Your PT878 is now ready to read flow measurements from the programming parameters you have set.